Hi, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Brenning-Meyer. Well, today's lesson, we're going to be learning an original tune that I wrote called Childlike Faith. It's uh, in the key of G, and it's got this alternating bass going on. So you're going to be doing that through a lot of the tune. So it's pretty right-hand intensive. Um, but what we're going to do is break it down phrase by phrase, like I always do, and hopefully you'll get it. Okay, so here's the, uh, here's the first phrase. Okay, that's a four measure phrase there, starting at measure one in your tab and going to measure four. Okay, so the first part of this, in measure one, we've got a slide from two to four on your third string while playing this open sixth string. And what you want to do is as soon as you slide into four, then you're hitting your open fourth string for that alternating bass. Because what that alternating bass is basically doing is playing on one, two, three, four. So you're playing the root note of the chord on beats one and three, and you're playing the fifth of the chord on beats two and four. So one, two, three, four. Root, fifth, root, fifth. Now I'll show you more of that with the right hand when we when we focus on that in just a second. But let's get this left hand down with what the notes are playing. Okay, so slide from two to four. Once again with that sixth string. Hit that open fourth string. Open first. Open sixth. Open second. Open fourth. Now this lesson, you probably really want to refer to the tablature so that you can see exactly what I'm doing there as I'm explaining it, because there's a lot of a lot going on with the right hand. Just like that. Okay, and then we move up here to the... Move up here to your fifth fret, first string, and you're going to play your sixth string with that. And then you're going to play open fourth string, open third. Back to that open six string. And then you have that lick. You're going to hit your fifth fret first string. And then you're going to slide it down to fret four. And as soon as you hit fret four, hit that open fourth string. And then pull that first string off to zero. Just like that. Okay, so putting those two measures together, we've got. Once again, don't worry about the right hand. Um, if you're getting confused with it, I'll go over that in just a second. But if you've got the tablature, the right hand is written underneath the tabs there, where T means thumb, I means index, and M means middle finger. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. We're moving to a C chord now for measure three. Okay, you want to play your second string and your sixth string together play your third string and then your fourth string just like that and I've got my bar pulled back here because I want to use this open first string so you hit that open first string there back to the sixth string then second string then fourth string keep in mind if you ever get confused with that alternating bass even when you go to chords like this, the root note is on beats one and three, and the fifth of that chord is on beats two and four. One. So it's still just doing that with the bass. Root, fifth, root, fifth. Okay, so once again, let me go over that measure again. We're in measure three there. You're just going to pick your second string and your sixth string together, then third string, then fourth string, then an open first, and then sixth string, second string, and then fourth string. Oop. Okay, then in measure four, 
It's just a basic alternating bass pattern there with your open first string played together with your open sixth string. And open fourth, back to open six. With the rhythm of that, if you notice the rhythm underneath it, it's two quarter notes followed by four eighth notes. So one, two, three, and four. And once again, that's open first string with your open six. Open fourth, and then you're going to do open sixth, open second, open fourth, open third. And that's the last phrase that we'll work on, or last measure of this phrase. Okay, so putting measures one through four together slowly sounds like this one, two, three, four. Try it again. Okay, let's check out the right hand. <laughs> 